Hello everyone, welcome to the part number seven for this uh, second milestone. So what we're gonna do for this one is gonna be about finally uh, make sure that the user can be logged now with Facebook. And after that, showing the, the, the main application and not just this login page when you get logged. So this is what we're gonna do today. So first thing we're gonna do, it's we're gonna jump back in the code. Also, I'm gonna show you, I've run React Native Debugger, or you can do this in Chrome and just click Command D and put, putting um, remote JS debugging, or I think in uh, Android it's Command M to make uh, that open. And now what we're we gonna do, it's here, we're gonna log this uh, result we get here. So inside the logging page, we're gonna log the rest right there, just to see what we got, oops, sorry. I'm going to refresh, Command R, and now I'm going to open my React Native Debugger. I'm going to click on Continue with Facebook, and I'm going to click on Continue. And now you see what I got. So I got an object here where I get uh, three value. One's going to be is cancel, so it's really good for you if you want to know if the user gets cancel. And also we're going to get the great permission. So this is what the user uh, gives you access as a permission, okay? So here we just get the public profile. Here, because we also want the email, we're gonna add the email. So here we're gonna add email right there. So now after that, what we're gonna do, it's we're gonna do some kind of if statement right there. So we're gonna say if res that grant permission and res that is cancel is false. So we want to make sure that we have grant permission plus the res is cancel is false. So the user don't have cancel it. And what we do now, it's after that, we're gonna make, we're gonna call another function coming from the React Native Facebook SDK, and that's gonna be access token. So this function, access token, what we're gonna do, is gonna be again a promises, and we're gonna see what we got. So we're gonna say const data equal await access token dot get cur access token. So get her for the access token that this cur, uh, like for finally the user you have inside this application, okay? So now I'm gonna remove this console log, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna console log this data right there to see what we got, okay? So now I'm gonna save, refresh my screen, open my React Native Debugger, and I'm gonna click on continue with Facebook. And now when I click on continue, what I'm getting now is th this is the data we receive, okay? So now we receive a Facebook token, the access token, and also we receive a like other uh, information, and we have here the three permissions, the email, public profile, and the user friend, okay? So now if I open GraphQL, and I'm gonna click on my login right there, and I'm gonna change my login with this access token. So I'm gonna copy paste this login right there, and now I'm gonna click uh, play. Now I get my login token, so this is what we want. So now you see that create for me my user. So this is the plan. We need to get this access token for doing the mutation. But how can we do the mutation? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump at the top of this file and we're gonna import two libraries. First gonna be GQL from GraphQL tag to create the GraphQL uh, query mutation. And also we're gonna need the GraphQL wrapper. So React Apollo, GraphQL HOC right there. So first thing we're gonna do is here we're gonna create the mutation. We're gonna create logging mutation equal GQL, GQL for putting the query right there. Back tip, don't forget back tips. We're gonna say mutation here. And now right there, we're gonna say dollar sign provider. So provider is gonna be a variable. So and this is a style of provider. So this is the same style as what we have right there. So provider and token, okay? So we're gonna say token uh, with a dollar sign because we create a variable, token token the token it's gonna be a string okay and now after that here what we do is we're gonna set login we pass the provider it's gonna be called to this variable we just create at the top and the same for the token token dollar sign token okay and now here what we're gonna ask back is the token so almost what we do here after that we're gonna wrap this uh, login screen with a GraphQL tag and we're gonna put the login mutation inside that. And also you can put some name. And you're gonna see why I want to put a name. I'm gonna call that login mutation. And now just for showing you, I'm gonna console log inside my render, the props, okay? So I'm gonna call props. I'm gonna set this that props. It's gonna be easier for you to see it. I'm gonna just make it a bit bigger, okay? 
and I'm going to refresh my screen and now you're going to see my props. So my props, what I receive, so we don't need that, what I receive is the login mutation function. So now I can call this function right there. So here I can say if we have data, now right there, what I can do is I can call my function right there, this that props that login mutation. But the thing is, I want to do to put also variable here. And this thing is going to be an asynchronous call, and I can receive the response right there inside my component. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call that ser server response equal away this prop login mutation. And now this thing can take an object where you can put variable. And this variable is going to be the variable you have right there. So provider and token. So here, what I'm going to say, I'm going to say provider. Here is going to be pretty easy. It's going to be Facebook in uppercase. And for the token, we're going to say data that access token. We get the autocomplete. Uh, Facebook have done their job. They have all typed this library. Okay, so now we have the server response here now. Okay, so now we can console log the server response here if you want to see it. Make sure you are inside the scope of the if. Okay, and now, so this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to refresh my screen. I'm going to open my debugger. I'm going to click continue with Facebook. And now if I click on continue, I'm going to get inside the data server response. This is now this data object, data logging token. So now this is the token we have. This is the GWT token we just created in the server. So now what we can do is we can save this token. So we're going to get this token by doing uh, equal server response that data that logging. Here I can receive my token from the destructuring that. And now I want to save that in my async storage. So async storage came from the library React Native. And now this token, I can do await, so because async storage is a premises, set token. So you see, it's a premises. You can see that right there, OK? Set token. And now here I need to put the, the string we want to save it and the token. So it's a key value. Now, if you remember, inside app initialize, I've put a Instagram clone token. But I don't want to retype that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna oops, sorry, I'm gonna go to app initialize. I'm gonna co copy paste this one here, and I'm gonna now save that inside my constant. And I'm gonna create a constant now called out token. It's gonna be equal to that. So it's gonna be easier for me to work with that because now the out token I know if I change it, I just need to change that in one place, and that's gonna change everywhere. So now I'm gonna go back in my app initialize, and I'm gonna import that from my util constant folder. So that's going to be out token. And now I'm going to just change this get item right there to change with, oops, to change with this out token variable. So now inside my index, I'm going to need to import it from my constant folder. So this is out token. And now what I'm going to do, it's here. When I save it, I'm going to change this string to be out token. So now they're going to be saved at the same same place. Okay. So now I'm going to run that. So now I'm going to save this stuff right there. And I'm going to save my token. OK. So now look what's going to happen. I'm going to continue with Facebook. I'm going to continue. Now that saved the token. OK. But you see, we don't push the user to the main screen. But now look what's going to happen. I'm going to refresh again. And now look so what happened. We now are in the main screen. So if you follow what happened right now, it's we have saved the token, but we don't do any logic to push it back to the main screen. But at least we know now then this app initialize works. So that what happened is if we have a token, we start with the main app. So we should call this function in the other one. What are we going to do for now to at least make sure that's going to work? It's I'm going to copy paste that. And I'm going to do for now, remove token just to delete the token. So make sure the user going to be delog. So now I can just we, we put it and now we don't have any more this token. So now we can redo the logic. So what we're going to do now, it's finally here. We're going to import from the nav here. We're going to import the start main app. So now what we do finally, it's right there. When it's done, we're going to call the start main app. And also we can put that just to make sure we can put this code inside the try catch. So we're sure then that's going to happen after this one is been done and for now i'm going to just throw the error if we have an error okay when saving okay so now we are here 
and yeah you can also put another uh, like you can also put another uh, try catch uh, for this one right there and do whatever you want but at least for now it's good if you look in the server also what happened if you remember the, they do the the stuff so here they have created a user and now we don't need to create anymore so now time to test it so i'm going to click on continue with facebook and now i'm going to click continue and now you see and now we get to the the main application or well, you see nothing more to do what we can do is just again change it back this one to do remove item because what I want is you see we get some kind of loading scanner and stuff like that so what we can do is going back to the login page came here importing from the react native library the activity indicator like that and what we can do it's creating a state right there called loading to be false. And here, when the user click on login press, we say this that set state loading now to be true. And when all that is done, so after we save the token here, we're gonna say loading now it's false. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is here, if this that state that loading, so if we get a loading, we're gonna return here a view. And if we look the style rule, you see that go right in the middle. So we can take this route, taking that in here, just here, we can put the activity indicator. We're gonna put a size of maybe large. And if you want to put some color, you can put the same color as the blue they have right there. inside that so that we're going to remove the console log here and that's it so now i'm going to re uh, refresh now i'm going to click continue with facebook and now you see if i click continue now loading and now we get to the instagram main page so i hope you have enjoyed this one uh so in the next one's going to be now the milestone number three so i hope you you have enjoyed this milestone number two with this authentication part and uh, yes, I mean, one sec, I think I forget one thing. It's gonna be inside the GraphQL thing. Right now, yes, it's pretty easy, we get the login, but now how we can make sure that this GraphQL stuff gonna work with uh, the backend, because right now if we look in the item, look what happened, the context is always empty. Change, I didn't forget it. So here what we're gonna need, is we're gonna need to install a new library called Apollo link context. So add this thing. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna need now to create a new HTTP link, but for the uh, authentication. So what we need here in the HTTP link, uh, Apollo link HTTP, we're gonna use the create HTTP link. This one, what we do, it's we're gonna say right there, current HTTP link equal create HTTP link while well, here we take a URI and now this URI is going to be equal to the value we have done right there okay so like that after that we can delete this link here we don't need that anymore and now here we're going to create another one called all link and this one going to take the context from the library we just finally create uh, uh, install so Apollo link set co uh, link context we need the set context so it, this is for saving a context like a user inside your link. So set context. Here is going to be any synchronous call. Where here finally I'm going to just I don't need the first argument, but I'm going to need the headers we have right there. Headers with the S. Don't forget this one. And now here what I'm going to do it's inside that here I'm going to put an arrow function with pretty brackets. So finally it's going to be the callback right there. And now here what we're going to do it's I'm gonna need to have my token here because I want to return. I want to return here the headers, who now is gonna be equal to everything the headers have already. But now we're gonna also have the authorization headers, where this one now is gonna be equal to a token. Okay. And now finally here we change the link to be now equal to the out link that concat. We're gonna concat that with the HTTP link. But how can we get the token? 
first thing it's we're gonna need to import the async storage library after that we're gonna need to import the variable name we have created inside the constant file you remember the all token right there after that all we're gonna start that it's we're gonna create here a token who's gonna be empty by default okay and now here we're gonna create a new function called get token who's gonna be an asynchronous count who this one finally what we're gonna do it's if the token is not new, so if this variable, so this global variable is not new, we're gonna return this variable. Okay? Else, we're gonna say token is gonna be equal to the await async storage call get item with the out token. And finally, we return the token. So if you follow what I do, it's finally the token here is gonna be empty. At the first time we get to do it to this application so when the user uh, refresh the application open it after that here what we're gonna do is we're gonna call the function await get token right there this function what gonna do uh, what I've done one sec one sec I don't see why I've done my mistake right there Equals context async. Okay, I don't need a comma here. Okay, sorry. Okay, and now follow that. Token is empty by default. We create the out link. Get here, call a function get token. Get token, see, okay, the token have nothing. So we're gonna get the token from the all the async storage. And now we save it inside this variable. So now this variable is gonna have the value of the token all the life of the application. If every time we're gonna call this the, the alt link, so if, on every request with Apollo, we're gonna fetch again the get token. But now the get token is gonna come here and gonna say, hey, the token now it's not new, so return it. So finally, it's just a way for you to don't make your app on every Apollo call to fetch the async storage. So the async storage don't gonna get called every time. Just that, just the first time finally. So it's better for the application at the end. So here the authorization, we're gonna just say token. So if, just uh, like a, a little tip here. So token, we're gonna say bearer because we have asked for that. And here we say token, else we just say new. That's it, nothing more to do, okay? So now look here, I have no context at all. I'm gonna just clear this page and now, now I'm gonna refresh my screen. And now, as you can see, now we have the context because now we get the user right now. So this is really what we want. So now, if you want to te uh, to test it, you can open the application, the server, right there. You can open a server, and just if you want to make sure, we're gonna uncomment this authorize. So now, if I refresh my screen, you see this authorize. Make sure it works. So just to look, uh, show you, if I get the photo right there and I don't put any GWT, and I do enter like that, I get an authorize. So you see. So now the authentication part. Is working so all that happened with this magic we just create inside this uh, this function right there the get token so I hope you enjoy now this is the the real end <laughs> so now this is done for the second milestone this, the third milestone uh, be ready to do some uh, like function and also uh, the bookmark function we're gonna add and maybe the sharing function so I hope you enjoy and we're gonna talk in the next milestone have a good night everyone bye